Bag milk. Bag milk. Bag milk. Oh, I swear. Bag milk. Bag milk. It's a Wednesday, so we always chat with Bag Milk from Oilers Nation. Just getting back from the latest Nation vacation, you were in Arizona. What would, what town is the rink in? Bag Milk. Tempe. Tempe. Tempe, Arizona. Yeah. Got a chance to uh, to watch a home game in Arizona. <laughs> it was so we were kind of like on the way there. We were trying to figure out how many Oilers fans are going to be there. We knew there was a lot because even the night before and on the plane, there was just Oilers fans everywhere. So we were trying to like, is it going to be like thirty percent Oilers fans, forty percent Oilers fans? But I, if it was seventy percent or more of Oilers fans in there compared to Coyotes fans, I would totally believe it because by the time wow. the third period was winding down and it was six, three or maybe five, three at that point, And people started clearing out Coyotes fans. You just look around and it's all blue and orange. And there weren't that many empty seats. It was just, we took over that arena. Well, you can only fit 4,600 people in mullet arena. Um, not well, a that bad was the seat thing. in the house. <laughs> no, there wasn't. And that was the thing too. Like you walk up and into, you walk up the stairs and get to the rink. You go, where's the rest of it? <laughs> but it was such a cool experience. I, I've never watched. I'd never imagined watching an NHL game in an arena like that. It was so much fun. The atmosphere was great. It was electric. It felt like it almost felt like going to a hockey version of a river Hawks game in a way. Yeah. Just there was like little merch corners and like little vendors. And I just, it was adorable. And I loved it. We just had the best time. It sounded like a home game when we were watching mm -hmm. at home, but everybody's wondering what the cost of beer was. <laughs> I think it was about 13, 14 us. If oh, I remember okay. correctly, they probably so, jacked it. They were like, these guys, we're going to fill this building with Oilers fans. Well, if you're traveling for a game too, you're not concerned about the yeah. price of beer. No, yeah. it's the last thing. Uncle Visa had it covered. Yeah. No, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay for that next month. <laughs> um, Bruins in town tonight, kicking off a rather condensed five game homestand to wrap up February. Out of the next five, just looking at what's in front of them, this is probably, it's not going to be an easy home stand, but this is probably their biggest test tonight for the Edmonton Oilers. Without, I mean, the Bruins are the Bruins. They're good again yeah. this year. And here's the thing, too, is we're sitting there at the game on Monday in Arizona. Oilers had a really, really hot start. And then that second period was awful. Mm, and then the third period was back, back to normal again. So, if they have a second period or any period like that against the Bruins, they may not come out so lucky. So a big thing tonight is you got to play full 60. You got to play a full 60 and your details yeah. have got to be dialed in because the Oilers were loose on Monday and they, you know what, they outscored their problems and thankfully they did. But uh, I don't know that that happens against the Bruins. Yeah. Uh, NHL trade deadline is coming up. Is there concern? Like, do you think they're going to push harder to get a backup goalie? Cause Stuart Skinner has been a little uh, leaky. A little iffy lately, and I think he's just getting work too much, to be honest. So do you think that's going to be a big issue for, for Holland? I honestly, like, it's going to be weird to see what they have because we all know the Oilers don't have a whole lot of cap space. They The goaltending position has been one of those ones where everyone's like, well, do you need someone or do they bring Jack back up? I don't know. So I don't know that they're going to go more aggressively. If anything, I would just bet that they find a way to make the cap work and then Campbell comes back up. But yeah. is that the best solution or is that oh, the best please answer? Don't I don't know. Campbell up. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like they're not going to trade assets for another goalie when they have one. They're paying five million bucks to hang out. Yeah. In Vegas. That's a good point, though. We forgot about Campbell. Campbell's sitting there down there riding the bus and on, yeah. the, on the lamb. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy, yeah. you wanted to, to bounce something off of uh... Uh, game day this weekend. Uh, do, is there still tickets available at Greta? Yes. Yes. But we're running out. So if you want to come join us at Greta on Saturday night for the BOA, you got to go to nationgear.ca. We're, we're raising some money for free play for kids. So we're partying for a good cause, which is the most important part of it. But yeah, there's still some tickets available under the events tab at nationgear.ca. Go grab them. We're going to raise some money. We're going to have a good time. We're going to watch a BOA and it's going to be a fantastic little Saturday in the city. That's how I should ease my wife. And we were talking yes, off air. Introduce her to the Oilers nation. Cause we watched these the watch games parties. together. She's a hockey fan. So we yep. were, we were chatting and we were, and she's like, it sounds like, like look at all the Oilers fans down there. And then I was explaining the, the nation vacation Oilers nation and that you guys were down there and that you do these trips. And she goes, we should do one of those. And I was like, absolutely we should. Uh, I was like, I don't know if like that might be a little, more than she a little much for your wife. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
<laughs> it's a shift. It's just, <laughs> one, of my favorite moments, one of my favorite moments of the trip was we didn't even get to the hotel before we made the bus driver stop at a liquor store. <laughs> <laughs> we were stocked up for the weekend before we even got to the hotel. So that was just kind of the, the table was set for an amazing weekend from the time we I, got off the bus. I, I once went skiing with the Oilers Nation and didn't see the ski hill. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, I don't know that I your guys... Know if your wife... <laughs> Well, she's used <laughs> to in. a little debauchery. Yes. Just you got to you, you got to ease it in, right? Like you got to <laughs> just make sure that it, she's aware of what it is. So that might yeah, be maybe. the thing I do on Saturday. All right, Beg Milk Oilers right. Nation, thank you for your time today. Thanks boys. The Locker Room for Arden Roof Systems. Weekday mornings on 957 Cruise FM.